All right, this is just a real quick run through on how to dis distinguish between a metal, non-metal, and a metalloid. So um, I've color coded it so you can real easily distinguish just by looking at it um, through this, but we'll just kind of talk through it <clears throat> very, very quickly. So um, most periodic tables have a breakup so that you can see real, real quickly. Um, a stair step right here, um, a kind of break it up so that you can black it up here so you can see it. The stair step breaks up kind of the periodic table into what we call metals and non-metals. Okay, so you have that break up. The non-metals always go to the right hand side, so those are your non-metals. And then your metals always go to the um, left hand side. So it's kind of your dividing line, so you can kind of see that already. The Really, the only exception to that is hydrogen. He likes to stick over there. So you can see the blue is your um, non-metals, and your uh, pink kind of color is your uh, metals. So you can see about 90% of the periodic table is metals. And so there you go. The stair step itself is made up of seven elements. There are seven elements that are called metalloids. Metalloids have properties of both metals and non-metals. So you can see that consists of your boron, your silicon, your germanium, your arsenic, your antimony, your tellurium, and your polonium. So they make up that stair step right there. Those are your metalloids. So that's basically it. So if I were to ask you, you know, specifically like uh, cobalt, metal, uh, chlorine, non-metal, arsenic, metalloid. That's the general gist of metal, non-metal, metalloid. I can't really break it down any more than that.